Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at installing Wine and its associated packages on Arch Linux. But before we proceed any further into the video, I'd like to thank my channel member, Miss Love. I get early access to videos such as this one right here, as well as a little badge next to the name on videos and live streams. And whenever they comment on a video, I get a notification on my phone telling me that they've commented so they get a priority reply. Maybe that could be you. Anyway, let's get into the video. So, this is a system I've already developed. Uh, that's not it. Nope. Come on. Have I forgot the password for this? Oh, have I? Oh, no. Uh, see, no. Yeah, yeah apparently I, I can't enter the password correctly at all. <sighs> right, irregardless. So, we have NeoFetch, but do we have wine? The answer is, no, we don't. So, let's go about fixing this. Now, why would we want wine? Well, we may want wine to run Windows software on our system. If I can remember how to, uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. So we'll just we'll just use this for now. So we've got our terminal. So there's a few things that we need to change. So let's look into that. So why would we want wine? Well. Okay, yeah, so, no, we're just gonna... Yeah, there we go. So, the reason why we may want mine is to be able to run Windows software on our Linux system, because why not? So, let's get into doing that. So, the first thing we're gonna have to do, if you haven't already done this, is we need to go into our pacman.conf, which would be uh, etcpacman.conf. And in this fo folder, as you can see, it's already... Oops, it's uh, already there for this one, but we need to come into this directory and we need to change some of our library repository permissions. So, as you can see here, we have our core testing, core, extra, extra testing, and multi library. Now, sorry, multi lib, multi library, whichever one you want to call it. We need to unhash the multi lib. This will allow the execution. Well, this will allow the execution and running of 32-bit software on our 64-bit system. So, and this is needed for Wine because Wine, for some reason, does 32-bit. I could be wrong. But from my experience, it does 32-bit. So, what we want to do is just do that and just leave the leave the directory. There we go. Now that we le now that we not left the directory. Now that we saved the file and left it, what we want to do is do sudo pacman hyphen capital S Y N U. This is to my lack of being able to spell uh, S Y and then capital S lowercase Y uh, lowercase U. Back like enter. This is just gonna. Go through pulling any updates down and re-update the fact that we've gone, hey look, please allow for the usage of 32-bit software and the installation of 32-bit software on the system. Now, it's entirely possible that your operating system probably doesn't need 50 updates at the same time. Um, mine does because I haven't turned this on since I last used it which was to make the last video that I made on Arch. So it's been a little bit of time, but because I've got parallel downloads, 25 of them enabled to be precise, it just comes down like nothing at all. But whilst it does that, if you've got a drink, grab a drink and have a quick sip. Make sure you are fully hydrated. Because if you don't hydrate that brain of yours, you're not going to be able to figure out what you're going to do. So, with 
doing this, it just gives you the ability to run Windows software, whether that be old XP software, days, dare I say, go back to Windows 95, or better yet, attempting to run Windows 11 software, or software that is mainly only compatible with Windows 11. Eww. Why? Why you'd want to do that? I don't know, but it's entirely your choice because it's your system. So you can do whatever the hell you want with it. Frankly, it's not up to me as to, it's not up to me to tell you how to use your system. Uh Mozilla needs to come up with a better download server because what in the hell? Linux firmware. No, never mind, that's not Fire why why did I read that as Firefox? Because Firefox was just above it. Either way. Wait for this to do what it needs to do. Again, seconds, good system, that's why. This, what you see here may not be representative of what you experienced. That's just how it is. What I have is not relative to what you may have, so on and so forth. This is ideal scenario. But now that we're done with this, you just do a quick new fetch, there's more packages installed, yada yada. Well, there isn't, but still. So, now that we have indeed updated our system, there are three packages we want to install to get our, our wine working. So, in this case, sudo pacman hyphen s hyphen s. There we go. So, install wine, wine mono, and wine gecko. One mono we need because that holds libraries and so does one gecko. And by uh, telling yes to these three, it then says, okay, we need all of these packages to work. So as I, I can confirm that yes, these are needed. These are the 32 bit variations of a lot of stuff. You've got Z standards, E2FS progs, uh, Libx Crips, GPG. Like I have installed many of these already on my own. Uh, Linux from scratch system, so it's just 32 bit variations. It again depends on your system whether you're using a 32 bit system or a 64 bit system. If you're using 64 bit, it'll install the 32 bit and so on and so forth. If you've got 64, or if you've got 32, it'll, it'll, it'll just attempt to install the 32 bit anyway. Now that we've done that, we can just do a quick check. We now have wine, but that, that is the development version because the way that it is set up and the arch user repository not, not the arch user repository the arch uh, the pacman packages pulls directly from the wine development only not the stable i have no idea why but that's just how it is so in this case we could now go forward and install things, change things around. But what we just do is do one clock. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to try and set up a clock. Uh, in this case, it doesn't because it's going, um, you see, mate, you've tried to launch me inside of a terminal. That's not going to happen. So if we just do Y and clock. Bada bing. Very simple clock program, but it works. This is the clock, as you can see here, 947. That isn't quite right, but it's also not wrong either. It includes it in the title bar, it just calls it a clock. And yeah, simple, really. And then you just go control C, go away. Bump soft. So, this is how you would install it. You can make some changes to uh, the wine configuration. So, if I just did wine, wine CFG, so that's wine configuration. This is how we can add things, change things around. If we wanted to install any custom drivers, we could do. We could change our input, uh, whether it's input, output, or for some reason, microphones, uh, wine versioning change this around because for some reason that's an editable field. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, 
no thing i wish that would give it an option theme windows rt um i don't know well win rt not entirely sure why but it can change these around so these link to certain places just so it looks a bit nicer as it were now of course you can go hey full screen dpi because why not you can install dynamic link library or dlls for whatever you wanted to if you fancied it so pick one and do it for example so atl bluetooth sky is the limit uh, you can actually add your software in here if you wanted to and the benefit of this is you can choose windows as far back as 2.0 and as recent as windows 11 uh 2008 r2 is that's windows server that's windows server uh ignore those two those should have never come into existence uh but they did gotta love it uh windows nt 4.0 is still an incredibly stable bit of software even to this day i don't know why but it is but that's how you would go around and change things and set it all up anyway as where we're going to come to the end of it i hope you've had a wonderful time learning more about this and have some internet explorer whilst we're at it anyway when you're using linux do not panic i have been nick you have been amazing and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day goodbye <laughs>